Yo, what is up, everybody? Zombie here. Everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah, we are on the Xbox One today. We are going to be playing some Red Dead Redemption One. I have both of them, but I want to play through this one first before we even start with the second one. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk over to this area and see what we need to do. If you hear two of the game, I'm sorry, but I can't use headphones right now because, well, yeah. I don't have headphones, I don't have Xbox headphones, so that's the only bad thing about this. You must be John Marshall. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. They're pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. I hope it looks good because I think I'm recording in full 1080p in Xbox. So. You ain't gonna find sturdier horses than these in all of New Orleans. That's what you keep saying. You be on the spurs now. We don't need to draw undue attention. Let's go. Here. Mr. Martin, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. That was my bad. <laughs> so it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Great place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians. Maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find about as sociable as no three to back to. I mean, I ain't going to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I say Xbox 360. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Xbox Marsh? Xbox One X. I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve Clans. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> Whoa. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Ray Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. I tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Deal. Yeah. Whoa. Fort Mercer. I don't even know if I said that. This here is for Slap and Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come on!
I honestly don't trust this to be honest because I feel like this might be an ambush, but you know. Come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. You never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> uh, well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. Bruh. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well? Oh. <laughs> Poor kid. Uh, what? Sorry, how did he get way from way up there to down there? How does that make any sense, huh? That's really confusing. Sweet, I just got an achievement. <laughs> Which I don't know if that would show up, but yeah. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Right. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss. Bonnie McFarland. Oh, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. So what were you doing? Just trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. A long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. What will you do now? Now I'm going to take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, 
just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life on me. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Cool. Join Bonnie. All right. Let's go ahead and join Bonnie here. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I, I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. I really hope this looks good in uh, rendering, because, like I said... There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, boy! Yeah, because, like I said, I'm recording in, like, 1080p from... Yeah, I'm recording in 1080p from the uh, actual system itself, so I hope it actually works well. Go! To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Is back on the horse. I didn't even do that.
drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a the horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Come on. Okay. Well, I gotta 
put it in a certain spot and do it. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. Sleep in the bed in your room to save again. Okay. Same GTA, we ain't got phones. It's the Wild West. I think the year was 1911 in America. Sweet. Save the game. different outfits. What do you mean? Oh wow, I got a whole bunch of different outfits. That's cool. Huh. Well, you know what? I think that is actually going to be it for this first episode. I hope you guys like this. I actually hope you guys like the full 1080p quality. Uh, so yeah. Let's try to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.